it's so iconic it's so um incredible you know it's uh um i mean i remember it from my from my childhood really from being quite young and uh, and just being totally blown away by it i mean it's an amazing story it's got all this shakespearean sort of relevance to it it's got these songs that are so amazingly catchy and then um you know you don't uh, but you don't you're not worried about you know humming them all day <laughs> you kind of enjoy it going round and round in your head um it was just it was a full experience it was like nothing else really these stories are so epic you know and they have these great arcs they have these great heroes great villains you know and uh, and they have these amazing stories and this great kind of compass this uh, real sense of social consciousness you know and a real kind of moral idea at the heart of them uh so they're very appealing you know and they're very informative as well as entertaining and uh, and these characters actually take you on extraordinary journeys and emotional journeys and very complicated journeys you know um so i mean what's not to like about that in a way you know you just kind of go along for the for the ride of these of these films and so bringing them back in this way in a way that can actually be in some ways like more relatable where you can really just sort of fall down the rabbit hole you know with these characters in this way is uh, is pretty stunning I play Scar and he's um you know he's a very complicated you know m malevolent character and um and therefore kind of fun to play but um you know and I think Scar works as a bad guy because he is you know there's nothing mundane about him you know there's nothing sort of um he he doesn't want anything sort of as everyday you know uh, uh, as revenge or you know uh, you know he's not he's not you know fighting for those things for sort of small things he wants power you know he wants it all uh and there's nothing that he won't do to get it you know so he's he's an incredible character in that way he'll push all of the boundaries he'll do absolutely anything and everything to get what he wants um and he's and he's sort of written with a slyness with a kind of almost with a little twinkle and uh and that is you know incredibly interesting and fun to to step into it's a very complicated relationship between between Scar and Simba and uh and of course it's the area in which um Scar shows himself to be the most kind of heartless and the most sort of malevolent and uh and this kind of trick of convincing him convincing uh, Simba that he's responsible for his own father's death is uh is just at the heart of the nature of this kind of very scheming character John just seems to have it all there and it's all kind of working and he understands every part of the journey and um and he understands as well how to you know obviously being an actor as well you know just how to work with actors and how to get the best out of them and how to um really support actors especially you know i you know it's 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 a, it's some of it is slightly newer territory for me in this and so having somebody who's really very aware of that and very sensitive to it and can really kind of you know just guide you through all the choices and the ranges of it and uh um and so you can really sort of find a character and find that performance and find um uh find how you kind of tell the story Hey, it's Lisa now. I hope you liked that video. Do you think it will be a success? Well, do you know what are the top five grossing animated movies? Coming in at number five is Despicable Me from 2017. Number four is Toy Story from 2010. Number three is Minions from 2015. Number two is Incredibles 2 from 2018. And number one, which I'm pretty sure you can guess, is Frozen. Now remember to click here below to subscribe or on the site for more great content.